So today <clears throat> we're going to focus on solving equations with variable terms on both sides. So what we're always going to do first is collect our like terms and then we're going to, after we do that, we're going to solve our equation. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to collect all of our x's together and then all of our numbers together. So 4x, and then remember how we solve equations, we would subtract this from both sides. So 4x minus x is 3x, and then I'm going to move this 6 over. So I'm going to plus 6 on this side and plus 6 on this side. So we get 3x is equal to 15. And now that we've collected our terms, we're going to solve this just like any other equation by dividing by 3 and getting x equals 5. Okay, so let's do some more examples. <laughs> so, remember the property we use when we have something written like this. We're always going to do this first before we collect our like terms. So 2 times negative 3a gives me negative 6a plus 2 times 5, which is 10, is equal to negative 4 times 9, which is negative 36, minus 4 times 4, 16. Oh, I made a mistake. This should, this is an a, not a 9, so this should say negative 4a. So now we're going to collect our terms together. So I'm going to move this 6 this way and this 16 this way. So I'm going to plus 6a to both sides and I get 10a. I'm going to plus 16 to both sides and I'm going to get 26 is equal to 10a. Oh, sorry, that was a negative. So this should say negative 4a plus 6a, which is 2a. Divide both sides by 2, and we get a is equal to 13. Now we're going to do the same thing down here. Distribute this 2, and 2x minus 6 is equal to x minus 1 plus 7. We can drop these bars, or these parentheses, because we're going to collect all of our like terms anyway. So we're going to subtract this x over. We get x minus 6 equals negative 1 plus 7. We're going to add 6 over. We get x is equal to negative 1 plus 7, which is positive 6 plus 6, which is 12. So now we have fractions, and you can do this a couple different ways, but I think the easiest way is to multiply your fraction in and reduce. So for this, we would take 1 6 times 12, which is 12 divided by 6, minus 6 times 1 6, which is divide by 6 is equal to 5x plus 20. So 12 divided by 6 is 2 minus x is equal to 5x plus 20. So I'm gonna bring the x's over here and the constants over here. I'm gonna subtract 5x from both sides and I get negative 6x is equal to Subtract 2 from both sides is equal to 18. Divide by negative 6, and I get x is equal to negative 3. We have one more problem, and we're going to do it the same way. 6 divided by 3 times y minus 9 divided by 3 is equal to negative 2y plus 13. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2y minus 9 divided by 3, which is 3, equals negative 2y plus 13. I'm going to add 2y to both sides, get 4y is equal to add 3 to both sides, 
16. y is equal to 4. Now, if you weren't being careful and you didn't watch your sign right here, you would have subtracted 2y from both sides, and then you would have ended up canceling out your y. So you should always be left with a y. If not, that means you probably made a uh, addition mistake. So you should go back and check that. So that's all we're going to do with solving equations today. Make sure you come back when we talk about um, using equations to solve word problems.